Okay guys, the next subject we're going to be talking about is horses that want to paw when you're feeding them, okay? Well, typically, horses that paw when you're feeding them, it's because they're anticipating the feed. They're impatient. Come on, come on, come on. I want to get fed. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, okay? So typically, it's a lack of patience. Typically, it's a byproduct of anticipating. Uh, a lot of people feed horses at certain times, okay? So in theory, that makes sense. Feed them at say seven o'clock and five o'clock in the afternoon. Well, in theory, that makes sense. But the quickest way to get a horse to anticipate what time he's gonna get fed is do it by a certain time. So typically, if you, for example, if you feed at seven o'clock in the morning, once horses catch on to that, then they start banging down the door of the barn at 6.55. Then the next day, 6.50. Then the next day, you know, 6.45, and it gets earlier and earlier. Come on, get out of bed, hurry up, I need fed, okay? So let me give you a couple little strategies, okay? Um, personally, with my horses that are in training, these are horses that keep in mind that are in pretty heavy training. These are not pasture pets, that what I'm talking about right now, okay? They do nothing and all day to do it in. My horses have access to hay-based forage 24-7 whether that's grass hay, alfalfa, depending on the horse and the workload it's given. So what I'm getting at is my horses are never theoretically hungry. They're, they're, it's not like their feeders are empty. Why do I feed them that much hay? Because if I don't, they'll lose too many calories. These are horses in heavy training now. So this probably wouldn't be suitable for a horse that does very little work uh, and has got nothing to do, okay? So one of the factors that, that helps me in this subject is my horses are never quote unquote hungry. Now they'll get fed grain twice a day, which is kind of like the candy to horses. They love that part of it, okay? So they'll, they, they, they get fed that usually twice a day, okay? But if I have a horse that is, a, that is pouring when getting fed or pacing the stall or rearing in the stall or basically being a protester, start trying to start a, a, a damn riot in the barn, you know what I mean? Like a bunch of prisoners starting a riot, I just don't feed them. What do I mean by that? I'll give you a perfect example. Many years ago, uh, Mindy got into a bad habit of standing at the door and pouring, while waiting to be fed her grain. And she got this bad habit because when I was traveling all over the country, doing expos and clinics and tours and so forth, I would let different people feed Mindy. I wasn't the only one that fed her. In fact, most of the time I wasn't the one that fed her. Well, I didn't realize it, but this habit had been started where she'd start pouring and immediately somebody would feed her. So what are they doing? They're reinforcing the bad habit. She pours, she'd just stand there at the door and get a front foot and just pour the door. Sure as shit, somebody would feed her. Well, I didn't know this was a bad problem until it was really a bad problem. And I went out there and I said, how long has she been pouring the door like this wanting to be fed? And all my apprentices look at me, oh, she's been doing that forever. Well, that's just unacceptable. So let me just tell you how I fixed it. I personally got involved at this point. I personally got involved. And when everybody else, say, for example, got fed at seven o'clock in the morning, I went down there when every other horse is getting fed and sure as shit, Mindy's standing there pouring at the door. I didn't feed her. Every other horse got fed except her. Oh, she did not like that. She poured the door more intensely. She whinnied out. She broke into a sweat. Um, oh, she was pissy. Why did every other horse get its meal and not mine? What I did is I set the grain in, in a bucket outside of the stall and I just walked away. And I came back three hours later. I just walked in the barn and she's ca calmly standing at the back of the stall. I immediately picked up the bucket of grain, went in there and fed her. Just like that. Meaning that I had the grain ready. She didn't have to hear the feed cart. I didn't bang around with the container. Meaning that I didn't tip her off that she was about to get fed. She couldn't see the bucket outside the stall, etc. So the next day, every other horse gets fed. She's pouring the ground, acting like an idiot. Again, I didn't feed her again. But the next day, it only took maybe two hours to get her to settle down and, and fall asleep. And then I fed her. And I only fed her a grain 
when she was standing at the back of the stall, quiet, calm, and relaxed. That's when I fed her. Every day it took less and less time till eventually when at seven o'clock in the morning when every other horse got fed, she just stood at the back of the stall acting like, I don't know what you guys are making a big deal about because nobody's getting fed. Then I fed her. So the rule is this, I only fed her when she acted like she wasn't going to get fed, when she was calm, relaxed. That's how I broke that habit. And, and periodically, I had to go back and reinforce that every once in a while. She might think about what she would do is every once in a while, instead of pouring the door, she would just stick a foot out like this and just hold it in the air. Like, I'm not technically pouring, but I still want to be fed quicker, okay? So then I'd, I'd not feed her again on time for a couple of days and she gave it up again. So because the habit was already well established by the time I got to fix it, I still needed to do some periodic uh, uh, maintenance on it to keep it good. Horses are nothing more than maintenance with legs. You know, if I give you a brand new $100,000 Mercedes, you still need to check the oil, change the oil, change the tires, rotate the tires, oil filter. You know, what I'm saying is everything in the world create, uh, needs maintenance if you want it to perform at a high level. So as a good rule of thumb, I just don't feed them when they're pitching a fit. Now, is this inconvenient? Yes, you, you're trying to get to work. You can't just come back at 10 o'clock and feed the horse when he's not poor on the ground. I get it, it's, I'm, I didn't say it was gonna be easy, but I'm telling you, that's how you break it. When that horse is pitching a fit, don't feed it. Okay, now I'm not talking about starving it now, okay? Again, they've got forage and hay in front of them 24 seven. Even the fat horses will get some sort of a grass hay that doesn't have a lot of calories in it, but they're not gonna founder or get obese on it, okay? But that's how I deal with it. You just don't feed them. It, it, it's, it comes down to the, what I keep saying. If a child has a pitches a fit and a temper tantrum and you give them what they want, they know all they have to do is pitch a fit and they'll get what you, they wanted. If you ignore it and act like the behavior's not happening, they'll eventually get up and go back to their job again. Okay, so that's how I handle it. What are you doing, silly? Want more? Get more. The No Worries Club is the best way to get the most out of your training experience. Stick around to find out more. Hey mate, Clint Anderson here. For the past 20 years, I've devoted my life to creating the best training tools and videos available to help bring my method to you. But there's only one problem. You can't bring your TV into the arena. That's why we've been hard at work developing a new platform to deliver the method to you in a whole new way. A way that brings 20 years of horsemanship and puts it in the palm of your hand. Introducing the mobile method. It's part of the new Down Under digital experience and it makes learning the method easier than ever before. Let me show you how it works, mate. Now you can always have access to the method, even when you're on the go or at the barn. The Down Under Horsemanship app gives you access to your digital training kits and allows you to download videos and training content directly to your mobile device or view them on your computer. The Down Under Horsemanship app also offers over 86 hours of free in-depth training content. No Worries Club members will have full access to Clinton's ever-growing training library and a massive amount of members-only features and information. And the best part is, you can view and interact with each lesson on your mobile device or computer, giving you ultimate access to the method anytime and any place. The method is the key to getting the most out of your partnership with your horse. We want everybody to experience the difference it will make. That's why we created three new ways for you to get the training content you need at the price you want. Our basic level allows you to purchase and download training content to your device at our standard price with no annual fee. When you become a No Worries Club member for $19.99 a month, you get up to 50% discount on any of your purchases. Plus you get eight digital videos and four digital journals a year and access to the No Worries Club website, the largest collection of method material and resources in the world. Plus, you can become part of our social network and chat with thousands of other folks just like you.
If you want the ultimate experience, mate, the premium membership is for you. You get all the benefits of the No Worries Club, a printed copy of our No Worries Club quarterly journal, and access to all of the method and the professional series kit training videos. Altogether, that's thousands of dollars of horse training and 20 years of horsemanship delivered right to your fingertips. So there you have it folks, the new mobile method app is the easiest and most effective way to deliver the maximum amount of knowledge at a minimal amount of time. And with the new No Worries Club, you can be assured you're going to get exactly what you need at a price that's right for you. It's a free download, so what are you waiting for mate? Get started today. Start your digital training experience today. Visit our website and download the Down Under Horsemanship app to experience the method in a whole new way.